Hello and welcome to the regional report for the North American region of the Church of Pentecost. In this edition, the National Council of the Church has received reports from all districts and regions to make an informed decision. The 2018 ministerial cohorts have commissioned nine ministers and their wives after a four-month residential training at the Pentecost Bible College here in Wayne, New Jersey. The visit of the chairman of the Church of Pentecost and the International Missions Director is still underway in the North American region and will bring you some reports from the districts. This and many more stories coming up on Regional Report for this edition. My name is Samuel Esan Yehu. Welcome back to the stories in detail. The visit by the Chairman and the International Missions Director of the Church of Pentecost to the Church in the North American region is still ongoing with an apostolic impartation and teachings, sharing his vision of the 2023 at his first Sunday church service at Newark Central Assembly in New Jersey. And afterwards, the chairman was joined by the International Missions Director to break grounds for the new construction of the church building for the Newark Central Assembly. <laughs> And when we say I will build my church, it doesn't mean we are now going to build the church. Now you say I will build my church. And Jesus said, I will build my church. He's still building his church. So we are going to join Christ and build his church. So we are saying we are possessing the nation. What we mean is to equip the church to transform every sphere of society with the values and principles of the kingdom of God. Our Father, once again, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for the gift of life and health. Thank you for bringing us together again. As we gather to do this short ceremony, may your presence be with us here too. And may everything we do be to your glory and your honor. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we cut the sword. For the commencement of this chapel building, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless you. Article 6 of the Constitution of the Church that gives the National Council the highest governing body the mandate to receive and approve reports from all districts and regions has held its end of year meeting under the theme, I will build my church, taken from Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. In all 78 ministers and wives, including regional heads and the governing body of the council attended. We bring you some reports on some responses from the pastors at the just ended council meeting. I want to believe that with the kind of the atmosphere that we have received, people should be in an expected to receive even as we work out to possess the nations. I mean, for the next five years ahead of us, we are possessing the nations. We're saying that we want to make sure that we are quick all all in Sunday, every member of the church, the church as a whole, equip the church so that we can uh, uh, possess every uh, sphere of, of, of our society and our communities. What we want to do as men is also to train and equip our men so that as men we also raise up, rise up with kingdom values, rise up with kingdom principles. In our families, we will live the principles. We will live as kingdom citizens, exhibiting the values of the kingdom of God. So that by so doing, we can, uh, first of all, uh, possess our families, possess the home. And once we have been able to possess the home, as men, we will take our nations, we will take our churches, we will take our nations for the glory of God. My name is Atoni Christian from Blanc. I'm here at the 2000. 19 COP USA Council meeting. Beloved, 
In Matthew 28, before Jesus charged his disciples to go out there and preach the gospel to all nations, he told them that all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto him. And that included the legal powers. And so after this council today, we are all fired up and charged to go out there and possess the nations by expressing this legal authority that has been restored on us by Jesus. Thank you. Amen. The administration has been great, very edifying. Um, I love National Head's message about the soul simple and how he was able to rally all the pastors together, uh, knowing our weaknesses and our shortcomings, embracing each other's strengths, and helping each other get out of our weaknesses to even a greater level. And the fact that ministry is service, ministry is sacrifice, ministry is humility. We pray that the Spirit of God will remind us every day as we go through this journey of our calling. Because at the end of the day, all glory will be to the Lord. Yo pienso que este es un tema muy importante. Cada uno de nosotros tenemos que llevar esa esa encomienda de ser objetos para transformar, verdad, así para impactar a las naciones. Ese es un tema muy importante, un eslogan muy muy hermoso que que donde nosotros tenemos que impactar a las naciones a través de nuestra vida, que Jesús haga la obra a través de nosotros, que Él sea el que sea glorificado en todos los, en todos los lugares, a través de cada uno de nosotros. Amén. Amén. This, this was an extremely uh, refreshing conference uh, since we came on Wednesday. Uh, it has been a very, uh, the atmosphere has, has brought us a lot of healing, encouragement, and then uh, basically we've been refreshed to go forth um, and rally our people to possess the nation. Um, between Wednesday and uh, today, uh, for me and for most of our pastors, it has been extremely refreshing. Uh, we thank God for the life of our national head uh, and the leadership of what they put together. Uh, this was very different. There was a lot of love in the air. Um, and then uh, we also are uh, very um, excited to do our best to align our activities to the to the international mission, uh, international vision to 2023, which is uh, to possess the nation. It is a vision that we have all embraced. Uh, we're going to work by the help of the Holy Spirit to make sure that we have an impact in whatever sphere of influence that God has placed us. This is the most powerful, the most elucidating theme that will drive, direct, and move the churches in the whole wild world to possess the nations. Church must impact the communities. That is what Jesus incarnated to come and teach us the way that it is not enough to sit in rooms but to go out there and impact the generations. And this council meeting the Lord has been so gracious to the extent that every single individual is moved, charged up and ready to go and impact their homes, their communities, their job places and everywhere so that the vision 2023 will be accomplished in no meantime. An agent of transformation. It's in the nation. I am an agent of transformation. I pray that the message will seek in the hearts of men and women especially as we learn from the prophets of old, Elijah and Elisha, and the apostles as well, with the leadership of Peter, that from the work that they did, we can build on that and move the church beyond that. For the Spirit of God has been poured out upon every believer, so all of us have been called upon to move the church forward in the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for what he's doing in the Church of Pentecost USA. May God reach you bless you. Thank you. It's been very, very successful. And what it is an improved one. And I believe we are learning from our previous ones and we are always adding on. The minister's session uh, it was refreshing. And one thing that I have taken out from the minister's session is the healings. The healings, the messages that came brought us face to face with ourselves. And uh, we thank God for touching our lives. Now we pay attention to news coming from the Pentecost Bible College. The 2018 ministerial cohorts have been commissioned along with their wives 
after a four-month residential training at the Pentecost Bible College in Wayne, New Jersey. Nine ministers and their wives were assigned as separate leaders to various districts. Probational overseer Samuel Morgan and wife was commissioned to Springfield District. Provisional Overseer Gerald Hagan, Austin District, and Provisional Overseer Albert Sampana and wife to Sacramento District, Provisional Overseer Daniel Kojo Abeka and wife to Columbus East District, Provisional Overseer Benjamin Kusi to the Tennessee District, Provisional Overseer Eric Ofori also was commissioned to Cleveland District, Provisional Overseer Samuel Ejenim Boateng was commissioned to Hendon District. Provisional Overseer Ebenezer Frempon was commissioned to Oakland District. And Provisional Overseer Peter Quist was also commissioned to Indiana District. And now, as young ministers, you have called them and commissioned them to go out there to become Gucci Shepherd. We lay our hands on Ajanim Watin Hagen. May God of Israel rest his head upon you. The Benizat from Bon, as you have called him into this ministry. Steps of a man are ordered by the Lord. Yes. But the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same who ordered your steps to embark on this path of ministry. As apostle of the Church of Pentecost, as I lay my hand upon you, may the Holy Ghost come upon you. May he reveal secrets unto you. And then touch your ears. So when he speaks, You'll be able to hear. Yes, sir. Daniel Abaka, may the same mantle that fell from Elijah as he ascended unto heaven descend upon you. Eric go for it. Yami on camo. Yami on tine ni munchira. Omi osuro mao. No mpa na nzang kamo. Speak to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ. Victor Peter Quest, as your name says, may God give you victory. Sampana Albert, may the Holy Ghost come upon you. May the unction of the Lord come upon you. The anointing that break you, the anointing that transform you, the anointing that gives special utterance, may it fall upon you. In our first edition of Regional Report, we gave reports from the campuses across the North American region, more especially New Jersey, as Pensa and Youth Ministry make strides in some of the colleges. And in this edition, we'll bring you some of the results or the fruits that you may want to recall from the campus ministry in New Jersey. to 80% of our young people who get to campus literally say bye-bye to their faith and yet our lives are sustained largely by the faith that we carry. Can you maintain your faith on campus in the midst of so much hostilities and things that would stand or stand against our beliefs and our very core foundations? But like throughout the year, I wasn't preparing myself to get baptized. For those of you that don't really know me, um, I came from it from an Islamic home, so I was once Muslim. Once I was in the water, it was just so much, so many thoughts just rushing in my head. And... With me going through that experience, and I felt like it was God finalizing me going into a new stage That's in life. Right. 
I was like really nervous because like I don't really like go to church like that. So he started revealing his son to me more and more in a matter of like four months. So I knew I had to do it. Before I got baptized, I actually got the gift of speaking in tongues, right? Last year on November 30th, I decided to convert to Christianity yeah. only because I know that like, my heart lies with Jesus Christ. And I don't know, today when we were praying, I just, I honestly, I felt Jesus holding the baby version of me. And then I literally just, like me as a baby in his arms. And then when I sat wow. down, I was just in tears because I heard a baby crying. Wow. And I was like, wow, that happened for a reason. Wow. And I know just ever since the baptism, life is gonna change for me. I feel Amen. different from it already, the way I'm breathing, the way I'm talking. I also received the spirit to also speak in tongues. Right. I'm, I'm struggling mentally as well because I've, I was supposed to have been speaking tongues for the longest, but every time I've just been so scared and afraid, God was like, it's time, like, you have no choice. And I'm just so happy because now when I pray, I feel like God is, is speaking to me when I'm praying, and I'm just so happy just to move forward. Like, I knew my heart didn't lie with the Islamic side of my family. I kept praying to the Holy Spirit to allow me to receive the gift of speaking in tongues. And as I kept opening myself to the Holy Spirit, I started speaking in tongues. Yeah, like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, after I was baptized and all that, like, I felt really good. I, like, I cracked a smile and all that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, um, yeah, now I'm feeling better. Cool. <laughs>「We announce the passing away of retired Pastor Maxwell Kofi Kutsi and in March 22nd his body will be laid in state with family gathering and Thanksgiving service on the 24th of March. Grandpa, as affectionately called, was one of the pioneering fathers of the Church of Pentecost. <laughs> Well, a full featured story will be aired on our next edition of Regional Report. Well, to end our report, a recap of our media stories. The National Council of the Church of Pentecost Incorporated in USA has received an approved report from all districts and regions to make an informed decision. Nine ministers of the 2018 ministerial cohort has been commissioned into the field as separate leaders. A visit by the chairman of the Church of Pentecost and International Missions Director is still underway in the North American region with an apostolic teaching and impartation. The final funeral rites of retired Pastor Kusi will be held in March in Virginia, 22nd of March. Well, that does it for the regional report. My name has been Samuel. Yes, sir. You stay blessed and have a wonderful time.